What's up? I'm Vin, and today I want to look at a question involving the altitude and median of an isosceles triangle. So we have triangle ABC, and A is at negative 3, 4. So we'll go ahead and plot these points. So we have A is over here, B is at negative 1, negative 2, and C is at 3, 2. So now we'll just connect these with uh, three straight lines. So let's see, we got, that was terrible. Let's try that one again. One more time. All right, that's good. And here we go. So here's the three sides of our triangle. And the first thing we want to do is write the equation of the altitude. And the altitude we're looking at is the one coming from vertex A. So that means if we draw a little sketch over here, here's our altitude in red. And we want to write an equation for this red line here. And we'll write the equation as an infinite equation, even though the altitude is technically just a segment measuring the height from A to this base BC. So what we need to know to write the equation of this line is we need to know the slope of this red line. But what we're going to do is we're going to find the slope of side BC since those two lines are perpendicular to each other. So the slope of BC, we're doing the difference of the y value. So we're doing 2 minus negative 2 divided by the difference of the x values, which is 3 minus negative 1. And now this is going to give us 4 divided by 4, which is going to give us 1. And then next, we want to find the slope of the perpendicular line so to find the slope of the perpendicular line, we're taking the slope 1, and we'll think of it as 1 over 1, and we're finding the opposite reciprocal. Well, the opposite of a positive would be negative, and the reciprocal of 1 over 1 is still 1 over 1. So the slope we need for our line is going to be negative 1. So now what we want to use is the point-slope form equation. We have y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And we have the slope that we're going to use. We're using the slope negative 1. And the point that we're going to use is negative 3, 4, because remember, the altitude is coming from vertex A. So A is definitely a point on our line that we need to write the equation of. So now we have y minus y1 is equal to 4 equals the slope is negative 1. And then we have x minus negative 3. But if I do minus negative 3, this is going to change to plus 3. So we'll just write x plus 3 inside parentheses here. And then we have y minus 4 equals negative x minus 3 if we distribute this negative. And then just add 4 to both sides. And the equation of our altitude is negative x plus 1. So this answers part A. For part B, what we want to do is we want to answer the question, is the altitude from A also the median from point A? Well, just know the median of a line segment, or I'm sorry, the median of a triangle is a line segment that goes from one vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. So the question we really need to answer in B is the midpoint of side BC, is that point a point on the line y equals negative x plus 1? So the first thing we'll do is find the midpoint of BC. And to find the midpoint, what we do is we add the x coordinates together. We have negative 1 plus 3. Make that a little neater. So we have negative 1 plus 3. We're dividing by 2. And then the y coordinate would be the sum of the y values, negative 2 plus 2 dividing that by 2. And when we simplify this, we have 4 divided by, I'm sorry, we have 2 divided by 2. I almost forgot how to add. We have 2 divided by 2 is 1. And we have 0 divided by 2 is 0. So the midpoint is 1, 0, which is supported by the graph. But remember, formulas are way more reliable than graphs. The graph is just there to kind of help us with the concept. So here's our midpoint. And remember, the question we have to answer here to establish that the median is also an altitude is we have to answer if 1, 0 is a point on the line y equals negative x plus 1. So to verify that, all we're going to do is just substitute. We have the midpoint has an x coordinate of 1 and a y coordinate of 0. And if we substitute, the, if we substitute this into the equation of our altitude, we have 0 equals, and then we have negative 1 plus 1. We're just replacing y with 0 and x with 1. And this gives us the equation 0 equals 0, which is true. It checks out. So now we can write a concluding sentence. We could say that the altitude is also a median because the midpoint of side BC is on the line y equals negative x plus 1. Okay, so this sentence here establishes that our line y equals negative x plus 1 is an altitude and a median. So now the last thing that we have to answer here is we have to prove that this triangle ABC is isosceles. 
But now we did the bulk of the work. There is a very helpful theorem that says that if the altitude of a triangle is also a median, then the triangle involved is isosceles. So we could just write our concluding sentence. Now, if this theorem was not known to you, there is also another way we could answer this. So we'll just look at an alternate way of answering part C. So what we could do is if we look at the picture, we notice that AB and AC are the two sides that are equal in length. So another way of establishing that this triangle is isosceles is we could find the length of both sides and show that the lengths are the same. So if we use the distance formula here, we want to find the length of segment AB. We're doing the difference of the x coordinates. So we have negative 3 minus negative 1 in parentheses squared plus, and then we have the difference of their y coordinates. So we have 4 minus negative 2. So we're using the x and y coordinates from AB since we want to find the length of segment AB. And now when we simplify this, we have AB equals, this gives us negative 3 plus 1, which gives us negative 2. We have that squared plus 4 minus negative 2 is 6, so we have 6 squared. And now this is going to give us 4 plus 36 under the square root and giving us the square root of 40. If we wanted to simplify this, we can. This is square root 4 times square root 10, which is equal to 2 square root 10. So this is the simplified radical form uh, representing the length of segment AB. And now if we find the length of segment AC, we're using the square root of, and now we're targeting these two points. We have the difference of the x values, so we have negative 3 minus 3 squared plus, and now we do the same thing with the y values. We have 4 minus 2 squared, and this is all under a square root. So AC is equal to, we have negative 6 squared is 36, plus 4 minus 2 is 2, and 2 squared is 4. So this gives us square root of 40, which is also going to give us 2 square root of 10. So this shows us that AB and AC are equal in length, which would make triangle ABC isosceles. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on solving the question involving altitudes, medians, and isosceles triangles. If you found this video to be helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps me grow the channel. And if you've got any requests, just leave the topic you want me to cover in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.